here we are on day two of this really important daily reflections on handling grief with God's help. And on day two, we're going to be looking at finding strength in God's presence. You know, Psalm 34, 18, it says this, it says, The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and he saves those who are crushed in spirit. You see, grief can leave us feeling shattered and overwhelmed. But Psalm 34, 18 offers a powerful reminder that in these moments of deep sorrow, God is particularly near. His closeness provides a source of immense strength and comfort. It's recognising his presence during these times of grief that helps us to find hope and resilience. And God's promise to be close to the broken hearted and to save those who are crushed in spirit assures us that we are never alone in our own suffering. And David, who, who wrote this psalm, often faced great distress and found solace in God's presence. You know, his experience reminds us that even in the darkest of hours, God's nearness is a constant and powerful support. So trusting in God's presence can transform our grief and providing the strength we need to endure and heal. And as we acknowledge that God is with us in our pain, and that his presence is not dependent on our feelings, but on his promise. And by recognising his nearness, you can find comfort and strength to face each day. So as we begin and end our day with a moment of silent prayer, inviting God into our grief, acknowledge his presence and ask for his comfort and strength. See, God's word is such a powerful source of strength and encouragement. And meditating on scriptures that speak of God's closeness and his promises can provide an immense uh, comfort. And things like memorising Psalm 34, 18 and other comforting verses like Isaiah 41, 10 and Psalm 46, 1. We reflect on these scriptures throughout our day and especially during the moments where we feel the intense uh, pressure of grief. See, God often uses people around us to demonstrate his love and support. So sharing our grief with uh, trusted friends or family or, or faith community can bring an additional comfort and strength. So let's reach out to a friend, let's join a support group or talk to a pastor and let others be a source of God's comfort and strength um, for you. So prayer and worship are powerful ways to connect with God's presence. Even when it's hard to find the words, simply being in God's presence through worship can bring peace and strength. So let's set aside a regular time of prayer and worship and let's use worship music to create an atmosphere of peace and invite God's presence into your into our space. And remember how God has been faithful in the past and can provide strength and hope for the present. And as we reflect on moments when when we have felt God's presence and seen his hand in our lives, let's keep a gratitude journal where we record those instances of God's faithfulness and moments that when, uh, when we have felt his presence. So read these entries when you need encouragement. And Father, let's draw near to us in our brokenness. Let your presence be our refuge and our strength. And when our hearts are heavy and our spirit is crushed, remind us of your closeness. Help us to lean on your strength and find comfort in your unfailing love. And surround us with the reminders of your, of your presence and fill us with your peace. Amen. So finding strength in God's presence during times of grief can be a deeply transformative experience. And as we trust that he is near, especially when, uh, we, when we are broken hearted, lean on his strength, immerse yourself in his word and draw comfort from the community he has placed around you. For by recognising and inviting his presence into your pain, you can find resilience and hope to carry on.